Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make a cool looking fun announcement that places glitter or pretty much anything else into shiny glass or plastic molds, reflect it onto a shiny surface, and change its colors. I provided this glitter texture for you to download so you can follow along. Its link is located in the video's description or project files. If you'd like to use your own texture, just make sure it's 2100 by 1200 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Double click on the layer and we'll name it Glitter. Click OK or press Enter or Return. Click off the eyeball to hide the layer and control click or command click on the New Layer button to make a new layer below the active layer. We'll fill it with a gradient background. Open your gradient tool and make sure the linear gradient icon is highlighted. Click on the arrow next to the gradient box and click on the black to white gradient thumbnail. Click on the gradient box to open the gradient editor. Click on the lower left stop and the color box. I'll type in 642789 and then click OK or press enter or return. Type in 20% for its location. Click on the lower right stop, the color box, and pick black. Type in 50% for its location. Go to the bottom and press and hold shift as you drag up the gradient tool to the top. Make the glitter layer visible and active. Open your type tool and choose a font. I'm using Frankfurter Medium which you can download from the link I provided. If you're not sure how to install fonts, watch my tutorial on how to do this. I provided that link as well. I'm using a size of 234 points, smooth, center text, and the color is black. Type out your text. To reposition it, open your move tool and click on it to move it. Control click or command click on the large T to make a selection of the text. Click on the glitter thumbnail to make it active and click on the layer mask button to make a layer mask of the selection next to the glitter. Make your text layer active and reduce its fill to 0%. Click on the FX button and choose bevel and emboss. Check Contour and make the style outer bevel. The technique is smooth, the depth is 100%, the direction is up, the size is 20 pixels, and soften it 1 pixel. Uncheck Global Light and make the angle 16 degrees and the altitude 48 degrees. Click on the arrow next to Gloss Contour and click on the gear icon. Choose Small List and Ring. Make the Highlight Mode Normal and the Opacity 100%. Make the Shadow Mode Difference and its Opacity 30%. Click on the color box and make the Hue and Saturation 0 and the Brightness 57%, then click OK. Open Contour and choose Cone Inverted. Click OK. Make a copy of your text layer by pressing Ctrl J on a PC or Command J on a Mac and double click on Bevel and Emboss. Change the style to Inner Bevel, the angle to minus 144 degrees, and the altitude to 51 degrees. Make another copy, double click on Bevel and Emboss, make the depth 550 percent, the size 27 pixels, and soften it 12 pixels. Make the angle 120 degrees and the altitude 40 degrees. Make the glass contour linear the Highlight Mode Vivid Light, the Opacity 75%, 
the shadow mode multiply and the opacity 75 percent. Click on the color box and change the brightness to 35 percent. Click inner glow and click on the color box. Choose black and make the blend mode pin light, the opacity 54 percent, the choke 20 percent and the size 29 pixels. Click off the eyeball of the background to hide it and press Control shift alt e on a PC or Command shift option e on a Mac to make a composite snapshot of our glitter-filled glass-enclosed text. Now that we have the composite snapshot, we can hide all the text layers. Hide the glitter layer as well. Make the background visible again. I'd like to make the text brighter, so I'll open the Levels window by pressing Control or Command L. I'll slide the input whites to where we start seeing activity on the histogram. We're ready to make its reflection. Make a copy of it and go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Vertical. Press and hold Shift as you drag the flipped text down until it's just below the bottom of the original. Let's name it Reflection. Make its opacity 20%. Next, we'll blur the lower half of the reflection and then increase its transparency the further it is from the original text. Open your Blur tool and choose a large brush with a hardness of 0. The mode is normal and the strength is 100%. Now, brush back and forth across the lower half of the reflection to blur it. Click on the Layer Mask button to make a layer mask next to the reflection. Open your Gradient tool and click on the Black to Transparent Gradient thumbnail. Make sure the Linear Gradient icon is highlighted. Go to the bottom and press and hold Shift as you drag up the gradient to the bottom of the text. We now have text made out of gorgeous glitter-filled clear plastic or glass molds. Next, I'll show you how to quickly change its overall colors. Make a composite snapshot and click on the Adjustment Layer button. Choose Hue Saturation and slide the hue back and forth to get just the right color for your text. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.